afraid something unfortunate has happened, my friend. On my way over here, I had all my tools ready, but unfortunately, they dropped down into a sewer, no fault of my own. I did not trip over my own laces that I refused to tie, absolutely not, but fear not, because, thankfully, the company has been gracious enough to supply me with other items that they are absolutely certain will work just as good for this perfect medical exam for you because they knew that you were my patient, that you were special. I absolutely did not beg them for help to not disappoint you. So that's all you need to know. So I suggest we just get on with it. And I would like to start with your eyes. So like I said, this may seem a bit strange, but fear not, it'll do the job just well. So I would just like to conduct an eye exam. And, uh, well, there's not, there's not going to be any light, so I like to think this is just going to be um, a nice break for your pupils. So I'm just going to uh, just take a nice look at what we're working with here. Mm-hmm. Well, that's concerning. The pupils aren't really reacting to this pen light. It is a pen light, I promise you it is. So what if we try the other side here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you just look directly through the cardboard? I mean, the pen light, thank you. Just look, keep looking. Just keep looking forward there. there. And then back to this side, just keep looking forward, there we go, now we'll go a bit closer, can you just focus on my nose here, I'm just going to move the pen light left and right here, okay, and then we'll just move a little bit closer here, mm-hmm. okay, and then what if you just focus on my chin here people still aren't reacting that is a little bit concerning i have to say well that's okay we're just getting started so thankfully i have something here that's exactly like a pen light because it may look like just a pair of plastic scissors i did not steal these off children i swear but you could see there's a little little screw there and it kind of I don't know about you but it does reflect off the light it doesn't seem like it does but it does so I'd like you just to focus on the screw and just follow this this should help determine the movement of your eyes just seeing how they do also I apologize for whacking your ears they're just so big and beautiful, so I just can't help myself. So tell me, my friend, who I trust so very much and should trust me, regardless of these mistakes that this company makes, but tell me, when you follow this screw, does your do your eyes feel painful at all? So have your eyes been perfectly okay? I'll just bring it a little bit closer here, okay? Just keep following it. Just gonna get a little bit faster here. And we'll go this way, a little bit closer here. Can you tell me if this is moving or stopping? Mm-hmm. And what about now? Is it moving or stopping? Mm-hmm. And when you look at the screw, is it black or silver? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's a brilliant start. I think we should move on to, again, continue to test the movement. So, just want you to follow the the eye tool 
as best as you can. Yep, that's right. Just keep following the bookmark. I mean, I too. It may be a little bit fast, but I'm sure you could do it. I believe in you. You are my favorite client. Just keep following it. And also tell me when your eyes begin to hurt. And then when they begin to hurt, I'd like you to keep following it because that's a quitter's attitude. No blinking. Just keep following it. There we go. Don't want to see any squinting. Keep those eyes wide open. That's good. That's good. Okay. And then do the same with this way. And um, while you're following the uh, the eye tool, tell me how many holes is in this eye tool. Let's just be real. How many two? How many holes are in this wooden part of the eye tool? I don't know, I will not slow it down. This is a test. Gotta make sure that everything is okay. So how many holes do you see? Okay, and then just look at my nose. And what color is the brush? Mm -hmm. And exactly in centimeters, how big is the wooden eye tool? Yeah, you might be right. That might be having a little bit too much faith in you. That's okay. Okay, so... I think that might do. Oh, actually, no. We have one more. I actually, thankfully, I also have an eye chart that was works just as well. So here it is. There's no numbers because, well, there's no need for some. So it works just as well. I want you to tell me. Just follow the pencil. Tell me how many of these little swirly things do you see? Mm -hmm. And is the pen pencil excuse me on the bottom or the top okay let's move on this side and what about now is it on the bottom or the top mm -hmm. and bottom or top and the bottom or top And would you say right now the pencil is on the northeast side, the northwest, the southwest, or the southeast? Yes, I'm aware it keeps moving. Yes, I'm aware that doesn't make any sense. That's okay. You tried. It's all right. So I think with that, I think we could safely say that the eyes are spick and span, maybe, possibly. But I think now... Just to finish things off, to help you relax, we should just give you some eye drops. So unfortunately, they were lost as well. So just have some toothpaste here, but that's all right. It does the same job, trust me. I'm a doctor. So just keep those eyes open. And since I'm generous, you can blink as well. Just blink those beautiful big eyes. Okay. Couple more drops in, no squinting now. Okay, and then blink for me. I think we can give your eyes a break. Next, I think we should focus on your ears. So, let's see here. I think just going to use an autoscope but unfortunately we do not have an autoscope so we have this thing instead which does the job just fine so let's have a look here okay mm -hmm. strange not really seeing that much thankfully that probably means that there's no wax so that's probably a good thing what if we just tap it Mm. Try and look through it here. Mm. Well, it does seem a bit yellow. There might be a lot of wax. We might have to give you an ear cleaning as well. That's okay. Nobody's perfect. Okay, then what if we just tap it around here? Just this absolutely obvious autoscope, of course. And what about on 
the other side of the ear here. Mm -hmm. Okay, then what about this back here? What if we slow it down? Just have a look at every nook and cranny of this ear. There we go. Slow it down. Okay, and then what about on this side? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just insert it. Three, two. Again, it's a little bit dark in there. What if we just test around the ear? Mm -hmm. Okay. I see, I see. I don't see anything, but that's irrelevant. Okay, and then if we just check just the ear canal here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think after that, it's clear we need an ear cleaning so Now, would you believe that you don't actually need, need ear tools for ear cleaning? It's actually um, this little thing that most would think is only used for a PC. It's actually pretty damn good at cleaning ears. No, I have not tested it myself. Don't worry about that, but you'll just see for yourself. Just let's just say that this is our little secret. It's very handy when you don't have anything else to clean your ears with. It's even more even more effective than your own fingers, believe it or not. So we'll just have a good clean on the inside. Okay, let's go on this side as well. Don't you, aren't you feeling cleaner already? Maybe this is a sign that we should be trying to progress more with different tools, maybe it's a sign that those other tools just weren't cutting it and these ones are clearly the better design, they clearly do the job much better. Okay, now let's get a little bit deeper inside here. Now let's just clean around the outside as well.
another quick little clean here. should move on to a touch test so we'll turn this one into a bit of a sharp or dull test well yeah sharp or dull test so I've got my friend here he has no name unfortunately the bull that was abandoned so he wanted to help and he had to beg me to just let him so he's just gonna bite you it'll be fine it might hurt I'm not sure You'll be the judge of that, so let's just have a look here, so just... And fear not, I am a doctor, so if there's any pain, we can help with that. Okay, so do you feel that? Mm-hmm, I only need to do yes or no. Okay, and then just on the chin here, do you feel that? Okay, and then just around... The forehead, do you feel that? Okay, let's just move this to the side. Okay, mm -hmm. just on the cheek, nice and slow. There we go. Do you feel that? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And then just on this side again. Do you feel that? Okay, now just close your eyes. Your face is hurting. That's perfectly normal, don't you worry. I've got something for that as well, don't you worry about that. Okay, so first just close your eyes, we're gonna do a sharp or dull test. So, this is the dull side. And of course, that's the sharp side. All right, so sharp or dull? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sharp or dull? Mm, you were quick with that one. Impressive. Sharp or dull. Okay. Sharp or dull. You seem a lot quicker with the sharp ones. I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed. Sharp or dull. Mm -hmm. Sharp or dull. Sharp or dull. Sharp or dull? Sharp or dull? Okay, fine, I'll do dull. You don't have to shout. Jesus, you really like this other side, don't you? Sharp or dull? Okay. You seem a bit distressed, so maybe we should just put that aside for the moment. So you can just take a deep breath. I'd like to actually move on to your nose next. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap this around your nose. This is usually used as a blood pressure to, it's usually used to measure blood pressure. So I'm just going to, I would like to measure the pressure of your nose. So I'm just going to stay like this. A little bit faster. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit more. Looking good, we'll just raise it up along the bridge. Perfect, see? Nice, happy face. Isn't that lovely? Okay, then, I would like to focus on those nostrils now. And, well, first, just going to measure those nostrils, and then, well, you'll see. So, first off, I have little thing here. It's not a pen light, in case you're wondering. And I want you to tell me what size is your nostrils on this chart here. 
on this nose chart, which one resembles yours most of all? Don't be looking at the mirror or anything. Just want you to tell me which one is more to closer resembling your own. Which one? Which one do you think? Hmm, I'd say more on the bigger side. Have you ever considered increasing the size of those nostrils by any chance? You seem to be a, a bit of a mouth breather, so couldn't hurt. Okay, but uh, let's go a little bit closer. So again, I'll ask again, which size do you think you are? Okay, and then which size would you want to be? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just saying which size, because, you know, they do say bigger is better. So you don't have to decide right now, but give me a call if you'd like to make Pinocchio jealous, is all I'm saying. But we'll leave that for another day. Now, just want to have a look up your nose. So if you don't mind, we'll just go into, um, just shove that up there. Just, there we go. So right and just gonna slide this pen up there I just want to measure just the amount well I'm not gonna say we know what's up a nose and we don't want to say that out loud it's kind of gross so we'll just have a look here just see how far this goes okay I see a tear in your eye we don't want to, don't want to hurt you now okay so overall Pretty big nostrils. Pretty big nostril, I should say. Okay, so. We'll keep this one brief, don't worry. And then just put this up there. Just slide it. All that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is perfect. So just give your nose a bit of a wipe. Hmm. The something red on here that's weird I wasn't there before okay and then I think to finish off just like to do some measuring actually no that's not true actually ignore me we've got one more thing I would like to do a quick smell test so just just have a bit of a sniff I'll tell you what this is in a second Okay, and then just on the other side here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now put your nose here. Don't want you sneezing just yet. Okay, and then again, just on this side here. Go a little bit closer. Okay, and then just on that side as well. Okay, so, um, what did that smell like? Pepper, correct, well done. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh yes, there's one more for the smell test. So, um, you just look over there for me. <sighs> okay, you can look back. So, what does that smell like? Yeah. Sandwich breath, you're correct. It was a good sandwich. Okay, and, um... What's that over there? <sighs> okay, you can look back. What does that smell like? Mm, sandwich, yeah, you're right. Okay, and um... Do you see that? <clears throat> okay, you can look back. Sorry, excuse me. Lunch was, yeah. Okay, that's just rude, but whatever. Okay, well, the smell test is done. Good job. Okay, and then at last, we have some measuring. So, unfortunately, no measuring tape, but I have something here that works just as well. All we have to do is just count the little circles. So, just going to add all this around here. Just get it all along here. Okay, and then... This way now. It's all the way around this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we'll just drag it along. 
Ausbauen hier. Und have you always been this size? Oh, I mean just in general, not by height or anything, just have you always been this size? Okay. Okay, and then what about the ears? Just one more. Uh, oh dear, it's fallen on the floor. Now, do you remember this? Our little pen light? Well, thankfully, it also works as a measuring tool. So, just going to do what I did before. This one's a little bit longer, though, so can measure those big nostrils that you have. The offer is still open, by the way. It's all right, you need time to think, I understand. Okay, just go up and down. Just along the side. Along the bottom, I should say, excuse me. Perfect, my friend. So, the end result. I'd say you're doing pretty good so far, all things considered. Still think that that was a lot more enjoyable, at least for me. And pretty relieving, considering we don't have any tools. But I recommend that you maybe just go home and get some rests. Because due to just the lack of tools, we're a bit limited on what we can really define for a good, uh, what's the word? I can't think of the word. It's tough to really tell what's wrong with you when you're so limited, but uh, the fact that you just look a little bit moody, maybe I would suggest just get some rest, drink plenty of water, get a cup of tea, you know, the works. And if you like another one of these exams, just let me know, come and see me. But until then, take care, my friend. And stop glaring at me.